You start by taking the camera plate from your tripod and attaching it to the underside of the top camera assembly. It's recommended that you use at least two screws. Now attach the top camera assembly to the tripod, checking that it's secure. Next, take the long 19mm stainless steel rails and insert them into the top camera platform, one on each side. Take the rear accessory platform and slide this onto the ends of the stainless steel rails so that both of the rails are flush with the end of the platform. Then secure the four gold locking tabs using finger pressure. The next step is to attach the square box section. The important thing to note here is that the genus logo should be the correct way up. The box section simply slides onto the ends of the 19mm rails and is adjusted so that the stainless steel rails are flush with the front of the assembly and do not protrude. Now tighten the two Allen head bolts on the underside of the front box section to lock the assembly in place. Use only finger pressure, don't over tighten. Now we will add the lower camera platform. For that we use the shorter stainless steel rails. Each rail has a small stop screw at one end. Start by inserting one of the short rails into the vertical hole shown here until the stop screw prevents it from going any further. The stop screw will prevent the rail from falling out of the front box section assembly. Now take the lower camera mounting assembly and insert the remaining stainless steel rail all the way through the holes on one side until the stop screw prevents it from going any further. Tighten the gold locking tabs to secure the rail in place. This assembly now slides onto the front of the rig so that the rail is now flush with the top of the front box section. Once in place, tighten the other two gold locking tabs. Secured in this manner, the stop screws will prevent the assembly from detaching from the rig. Next, tighten the two Allen head bolts here and here in the rear of the front box section to fully secure the lower camera assembly. The next part that is fitted is the mirror. Again, check the orientation of the genus logo, making sure that it's the correct way up. The mirror frame slides into the guides at the ends of the front box section. This can be a little tricky, as the mirror must go into the guides absolutely squarely. Once fitted, check again that the logo is the correct way up. Now we will fit the fold flat hood. Start by unfolding the hood so that the plastic baffle sits in the guides at the top and bottom of the rear of the hood. Like this. By resting the front of the hood on the top of the mirror frame, you can fold down the side panels of the hood before securing the hood to the mirror frame using the four plastic thumb screws, two on each side of the hood. With the hood attached, you can now insert the brass mirror adjusting screw. Use only very gentle finger pressure. Before attaching the cameras to the rig, you should consider the balance of the system. 
For most smaller one-piece cameras, the rig will tend to be front heavy. So you need the camera platform to be very close to the mirror box. You may need to slide the rails backwards to bring the camera platform closer to the mirror box. Once adjusted, tighten the gold locking tabs. Now we're ready to add the cameras. We start by fixing the quick release plates to the undersides of both cameras. If you're using a camera with a fold-out LCD panel on the handle, like this EX1 camera, the panel should be opened before attaching the camera to the rig. Slide the camera onto the quick release platform and offer it up to the mirror box. You may find that the lens does not align with the rear aperture in the mirror box. In this case, slide the mirror box up or down until it lines up. Then slide the camera into place and secure the locking tab on the quick release mount. The lower camera is then slid into its quick release mount and then locked off. When you want to remove a camera, it should be noted that you must press this little brass button to release it from the quick release mount. The rig is now ready to be aligned. Alignment is done in two stages. First, the mechanical alignment of the rig and then the optical alignment of the cameras using a suitable monitor. Start by looking into the mirror box from directly in front of the rig. You should be able to see both camera lenses. A small flashlight shone into the mirror box can sometimes help make them easier to see. Using the interaxial control, adjust the position of the top camera so that both lenses appear to merge together. At this stage, they may not align perfectly. Just get them as close as possible. Next, slide the lower camera up and down on its mount, again looking into the mirror box. You should see one lens move in front of and then behind the other. Position the lower camera so that both lenses line up with each other in the mirror. This ensures that both cameras are the same distance from the mirror. Now we must use a monitor to align the two cameras. This can be a dedicated 3D monitor, a half mix of the two cameras on a 2D monitor, or by quickly A-B switching between the two cameras on a conventional 2D monitor. When the two cameras are perfectly aligned with zero separation, if the two output images are viewed together, we should see a normal 2D image. This is what we are aiming to achieve when we line up the rig. If you're using cameras with zoom lenses, there may be differences in the size of the two camera images. Adjust the zoom lenses so that both images are the same size. It's normally best to start off using the widest end of the zoom range. Next, check for any rotational errors, where one image is rotated compared to the other. On the rear of the lower camera mount, there are two thumb screws here and here that are used to rotate the lower camera. Slacken them both off a little bit and then adjust one side or the other to tilt the camera. Once adjusted, gently tighten both screws to lock the camera in position. The next alignment is for vertical alignment. This is adjusted using the mirror tilt adjuster screw.
Now adjust the left and right shift of the image using the Convergence Adjuster. Throughout the alignment process, you should check that the camera lenses are still aligned by looking at them in the mirror box and readjust the convergence control if necessary. You may need to cycle through the alignment steps a few times to achieve a satisfactory result. Once aligned, the rig is now ready for use.